the solution to uh, the Mega Millions problem, which we discussed earlier during the semester. So, in California's Mega Millions lottery, uh, you select five numbers between one and fifty-six, and then one na one mega number from one to forty-six. And the question was, uh, what's the probability that you actually win a prize in Mega Millions? So if you look at the uh, California website for uh, this lottery, there's actually only three ways to not win a prize, and those are defined by the following events. So if A sub J is the event that we match J of 5 but not the mega, then we're going to not win if A sub J occurs for J equals 0, 1, or 2. So in other words, if we match uh, two or fewer of our five numbers and not the mega, then we're not going to win anything. Okay. So from, uh, from that we can see from the law of complements the probability of winning is just going to be the 1 minus the sum of the probabilities of these A sub J events, from J equals 0 to 2. And now to calculate the probability of A sub J, note that uh, if we're going to draw, if we're going to match J of our five numbers, then that means uh, we need to match, you know, five, five choose J. Uh, but then uh, in order for us to match J, they also need to choose five minus J of the remaining 51 numbers, which we did not draw. So that's where the second term in the numerator comes from. And uh, finally, uh, they uh, need to not draw the mega for a sub j to occur, and that's where the 45 choose 1 comes from. And then the denominator, of course, is just all the possible uh, draws uh, that they can make. Uh, 56 choose 5 is the number of ways to choose 5 of 56 numbers, and then 46 choose 1 is the number of ways to draw a mega million. Now, uh, substituting all this into uh, your favorite computing software, uh, we end up getting that the probability of winning is 0 0.0251. And uh, if you uh, divide 1 by that number, that gives you an odds of about 39 to 1 of winning, which are the odds posted on the California website.